Hey guys, so I just left school and I got a fuel check fuel cap light on the dash. Not sure, I haven't had this problem yet. But a simple fix would be taking it off, putting it back on, make sure it clicks, turning off your card. And turning it back on. Said is to check your fuel cap is this rubber gasket is supposed to make a seal on the tank. That's why every time you loosen the cap, what would you say it makes? It you just hear a sound and from the pressure. And if there's a crack on the seal, there will be no pressure in the tank, and it will throw up that check gas cap. When you tighten your gas cap, you always want to make sure that you hear those clicks at the end, and that's how you know it. So now I'll start the car and see if putting gas and checking the cap does anything. And of course it doesn't do anything. So the next thing that I could think of is disconnecting the negative side from the... So for the battery, it is a 10. Just loosen it. And wiggle it off and then set it to the side for two to three. And then to see if that works. So now after you got both of them disconnected, you're gonna have to hold that one because I can't put it anywhere because of the intake. Hold it for about three to five minutes and let's hope it clears the code. So again, whenever you get that check gas cap code right right there, go ahead and stop, of course. Turn off the car, take off the gas cap, make sure it's tightened all the way. If that doesn't work, pump gas, or if that doesn't work either, take off the negative side and the positive side on the battery. Let it sit for five minutes. And, and don't forget to check that gas cap. So we hooked up the battery and everything. Let's see if that worked. And yeah, that seemed to clear. He dropped on my tools. <laughs> so that cleared the code. And whenever you disconnect your battery on, I think it's the Coops, they have the anti theft system for the radio. So make sure you have your radio code before you do this. Also, if you don't have your code, you can go to Honda and they'll give you it for free, which they should anyways. I printed it out on sticky paper and wrote it where it's supposed to go from the manufacturer. And that should be a quick and easy fix. And there you go.